How much greed do you have right now? We often desire more and strive to obtain more. However, happiness is said to come not from possessing or achieving more, but from living in the present moment with inner satisfaction and tranquility. Through the wisdom of Schopenhauer, let's explore whether your life is currently happy, unhappy, and how you can find happiness. If you want to be happy, reduce your greed. Even if 9 out of 10 problems are resolved, there are people who suffer because of the remaining one. On the other hand, there is only one problem solved, but there are people who live brightly, satisfied with that one success. Live contented with small successes. If you are satisfied with small success, the day is fun, and the day is fun, life is fun. People tend to want what they don't own. But misfortune begins in such a heart. If you want to feel satisfied and happy, think of a case where you lose what you have now. Wealth, health, friends, family, lovers, even pets are all one and only to you. People don't know the true value until they lose something. Excessive wealth hinders happiness. Being rich alone rarely equates to happiness. They feel unhappy because they lack genuine cultural refinement or knowledge and fail to find interests suitable for intellectual professions. This is because they feel immense anxiety and stress in safeguarding their wealth. Having more than what is necessary for life never adds to happiness. Be grateful for what you currently possess. Cut down on what you desire. If you constantly find yourself dissatisfied because you want so much, your unhappiness will only grow. Human willpower inherently seeks to pursue desires endlessly, thus always finding deficiencies and inadequacies, no matter when or where. So it's important to understand that humans are inherently desiring beings, not just desiring something now because of some past deficiency. When you realize this clearly, you'll no longer feel unhappy due to past problems or agonize over not living a better life. The important thing is not to try harder but to change the direction of your efforts. Boredom and want are the two pillars of life. When people get what they want, they feel content for a moment, but soon become bored and crave something else. Humans looking for something more enjoyable something more stimulating, are anxious to have fancy clothes or something luxurious. Humans constantly increase what they want, but in the end it is harder to satisfy themselves. That's why we need to reduce our greed. Your happiness in life doesn't solely rely on how joyfully you've lived, but rather on actively minimizing suffering. Rather than chasing joy, joy, or happiness, Wise people are careful not to experience disasters or suffering that they can encounter directly. So, they understand their desires well, set limits for themselves, and reduce what they want while restraining themselves. Running endlessly without self-awareness or being pulled in various directions eventually exacts a toll, leading to physical and mental deterioration, financial struggles, or interpersonal difficulties. People who don't want something in the first place have no complaints because they don't have what they want. So they can live life fully satisfied. However, some people live miserably because they do not get the one thing they want even though they have much more wealth than others. Don't want anything. A person's luck changes, but his character does not change. A person's character includes a noble character, smart thinking, a personality full of joy, a bright mind, and a healthy and sound body. There is nothing so foolish as to sacrifice health for any kind of happiness. Money, promotion, learning, and even fame can never be exchanged for health. Even more, it cannot and should not be compared with the pleasure of sexual pleasure. Beauty is also health. While a beautiful appearance may not directly contribute to happiness, it can be a person's advantage. 
creating a good impression indirectly contributes to making others happy. Ignoring beauty just because someone is a man is not advisable. Regardless of gender, beauty is a quality that appeals to everyone. Maintain good relationships with others. People are happier when they are part of society, as individuals cannot accomplish great things alone. The reason people can fully demonstrate their abilities and thrive is because they are part of society. Even those who have achieved outstanding accomplishments were able to do so because there were people who helped and supported them behind the scenes. There is happiness in a small world. Reducing the world you belong to can be a shortcut to happiness. In other words, you will be happy only when you restrict contact with the world. The narrower the scope, the happier it becomes. The wider the range, the more desires and fears arise, leading to increased worry and conflict. The less stimulation, the less suffering. However, excessively narrow or monotonous lifestyles can lead to boredom. Therefore, it's essential to maintain a balance, making your life diverse enough to avoid boredom while also simplifying your relationships with the people you encounter. The world changes depending on your perspective. To some, the world is boring and desolate, while to others, it is exciting and full of meaning. What seems cliché and obvious to the common man can be an interesting adventure for the extraordinary. Likewise, what an optimistic person sees as an amusing conflict may appear as a tragic scene to a melancholic person, and it may mean nothing to a callous person. The world changes depending on your perspective. Your happiness begins with worrying about unhappiness. Happiness begins with the thought of living a life without being too unhappy. In other words, if you can endure it, that is a happy life. Life is not given to be enjoyed, it is given to be overcome. Ultimately, happiness and unhappiness depend on what fills our consciousness and what fascinates us. Where is your heart at this moment? If there is a sick person in your family, no matter how much you enjoy your time with friends, it isn't enjoyable. Others' laughter only exacerbates your feelings of loneliness and depression. When your mind is busy and troubled, you may simply pass by the blooming flowers or trees on the side of the road, but when your mind is relaxed and clear, you begin to notice things in the everyday scenery that you didn't see before. The circumstances and environment through which you navigate are important, but ultimately, your happiness or unhappiness depends on your mindset. Happiness lies in reducing the causes of suffering. From experience, we know that happiness and joy are nothing but mirages that can be seen only from afar and disappear when approached. Therefore, wise people focus solely on ways to alleviate these sufferings or hardships, rather than pursuing happiness or joy that may remain elusive. Don't exchange pleasure for pain. Efforts to endure pain for the sake of pleasure or engaging in risky behavior where pain is likely to follow should be avoided at all costs. Such pleasure is nothing but a fleeting illusion and an act that sacrifices your soul. Be a person with a bright personality. The effect of a bright personality is immediate. A bright personality has the power to uplift others and bring joy. A bright personality is the most precious blessing for us humans, who live in the incredibly brief moments nestled within infinite time. Finally, you can be happy and you have the right to be happy. I always support you to be happy.